guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another plan with me video and this one is actually in my horizontal 18 month planner. We're doing September the 21st to the 27th. This week's kind of cool. If you didn't notice, this is going up before the vertical plan with me, which is abnormal for me. I'm actually doing a collab with a girl named Amanda Phenom. I think is how you say her name. But I'll link it down below. She has a great channel. I've been watching her videos since before I was making videos. So that's pretty cool. And I'm actually doing a, like a plan with me based on this kit that she picked out. And it's from Pink Popsicle Studio. And they were actually nice enough to give us a coupon code. So that will also be right in this area somewhere. So dun 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 right there. But um, I'll have that there. But this really cute kit is from them. They have a vertical style of it and a horizontal style. She'll be featuring the vertical style, so hopefully I can have a link over here as well to her video if I can figure that out in editing. But this one is about the horizontal planner, so I purchased the horizontal set, which I'm really liking so far. I love the full box squares and the patterns she picked out. It's kind of an apple picking fall theme, which I'm really excited for fall themes. I'm ready to kick this off. Um, summer lasted way too long in my opinion. I live in the south so it's stupidly hot here. So I am excited for fall and boots and sweaters and all that fun stuff. And since this week, I believe, yeah, it's on the 23rd, it's actually in my planner. It's the first day of fall. I have this kit to be using. So this is how it's gonna go. Alrighty. So I'm going to start off by peeling, I made some stickers like I normally do to kind of accent the stickers that I'm using. Okay, so all of those are done now. I did like a maroon color to kind of match with the apple-y theme. So now we can get on to the good stuff. I'm going to start off by laying down my weekend banner because we all know the weekend is the most important, important part of the week. I like how simple this little weekend banner is. It's perfect because it has all the colors that incorporate in the all the colors that are incorporated in the theme, but it's just perfect because it's just simple and it's not overwhelming. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark down the days of TV shows that I'm watching because we all know TV is so very important. And this week is actually the Big Brother 17 finale, which I'm very excited about. Even though they got rid of my favorite person and I still have not been able to watch that episode because I know what happens and I'm very upset about it. So, yeah, I need to do that. I need to get the guts up to watch it. Also, Grey's Anatomy starts back this week. So, I am pumped about that. Doctor Who comes on Saturday, so I want to make sure that that is marked down, and then Fear the Walking Dead comes on on Sunday. So that's all of those, my videos for this week. I'm doing a vertical plan with me on Monday per usual. On Tuesday, my 500 subscribers giveaway is going to go up. Because last Friday, or just yesterday, today is Saturday, yesterday, when you're watching this, is, or Friday, I hit 500 subscribers, and I'm actually super excited about it. I kind of had a mini freak out. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. I hope you're really enjoying my videos. I've been enjoying doing this so far, so hopefully we can all keep this up. I'll keep making if you keep watching. Otherwise, that won't happen. Um, on Thursday... I want to put up my current storage supply video, which is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, 
I have just kept delaying it because I'm not 100% positive. I love how everything is right now. So I need to keep thinking that through, but I definitely want to get it up this week just because I feel like that will be such a fun video to do. I probably should have been a little bit smarter and laid these down before I did one of these little strips. Just because it's going to be a whole lot harder once they're down there. So I took that off. I'll rewrite that in a minute. So I put the plaid one. I'm also going to go ahead and use this little one with caramel apples on it. Take off this strip that says Big Brother. There's that. So put that back. I like how that looks. Um, go ahead and lay down my work stickers that I normally make when I do my horizontal spreads. I put them in the bottom corners because typically my brain thinks left to right and I work night shifts. So for me, my day and me's go from left to right. So that makes the most sense for me, for them to be the most right. That may not make sense to everybody, but that's what works for me. I did forget a little video right there. I also pulled out this apple picking dirty sticker book to see if there's anything in here that I could use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this little, are there any other animals? No. I'm going to do this little rat looking guy. Mouse. I don't know what he's quite doing there. I know it's not a squirrel because they have a squirrel in there. So I'm actually going to be using this Pilot Permanent Pen. I have not used this on glossy stickers yet, so I'm really excited to try it out. Um, do I rip his tail? Oh, little guy. Put him... mouse friend and stick him right there. I think he goes well with the theme. And then I'm going to start off Monday by doing a checklist. when they match perfectly. That makes me so happy. I know this is random, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this down before I forget. These are the Hydrate stickers from Oh Hello Stationery. I'm just going to stick this right over there for the week so I can drink my water. Because that's very important, guys. I take Let's use one of her little fun stickers. Let's just use an apple. And let's do a little apple slice. Just a couple. 
cover up the little holiday thing. And that is the day that my t uh, giveaway will start for my 500 subscribers since I'm putting the video up. So it'll be two weeks, which is a little reminder for myself. Using my lay pen, the black one to write in my to-do list for Monday. Putting down my sticker on Monday to mark that it's donut day with my dog. to write down that I'm going to get a flu shot. I'm required to get it for work, so I'm going to go on Wednesday to get one before my shift, just so I don't have to worry about it later. There's that. Got a little shot sticker going on there. Gonna stick down this first day of fall sticker right there. Not perfect, but it works. I swear I'm constantly losing stickers. I'm gonna use this little sticker that says today. I want to write down that on Monday I need to make sure I check the mail because I got some happy mail coming in. I hate calling it that, but like that's the only thing that I can think of to call it. I'm getting stickers in the mail, guys. So there's that. Let's see the sticker name. Go ahead and just schedule Netflix day in because those are the best kind of things to schedule. A Red Libby and Co. TV sticker right there. I know a cinnamon roll is not exactly the same thing as a donut, but for our purposes, it's gonna work. <laughs> Sunday night is game night. Using it. 
I'm using a little paw print from Pretty on Paper Co. to mark that my dog has a groom room appointment sometime. I think it's going to be Monday. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm just going to mark it on Monday. You can always change it later if need be. I might go ahead and mark down a little to-do section down here. I like to use the Milo's Print Shop little to-do banners. I saw these on Living the Life Life's videos and now I'm obsessed with them, so definitely going to be using those for a long time. And I think now is a good time to throw in a caramel apple. Right there. It's very fallish, don't you think? Putting down another sticker to remind myself to send out all of my, like, R.A.K. rack and like packages and trades and everything out on Monday so that everybody can get them this week. I think I have like two more. I'm mostly done, but I just want to make sure they all get out. I have some stuff to submit on Friday. Mark that. So that will be there. Oh, that does bleed a little bit. That's not good. That's not good. On Friday, I just want to make sure everything's ready for the weekend so that we, because we actually don't have a lot planned this weekend. We've had a couple really busy weekends, so I want to make sure that I leave some time to relax on Friday, so on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to mark down that I want to do most of the cleaning on Friday morning before I go to work. That way, I don't have to stress about it. I'm going to lay down this little uh, laundry basket that came off the sampler from Paint Popsicle Studio. Um, I was really impressed with my order from her. I ordered quite a few stickers. Um, I think some of them are in the Etsy haul. If not, they'll be in the next one. But I really like these, and I like her glossy stickers. They're glossy, but not crazy glossy. They're really easy to use. Yeah, overall, thumbs up to her. That looks decent. I don't really know. I mean, I'm just kind of going with it. A little chevron thing with an acorn and a leaf. I mean, why not, right? And I will do. I'm going to add another to do list on 
Thursday. So I'm sure I'll have stuff to do. I really do wish I was going apple picking next week. I wish I could use that sticker. It's kind of sad that I can't. Is that an orange apple? I'm kind of confused by that. I have never really seen an orange apple in real life. If you guys have, let me know because I would love to know where you saw it. So I can go and see one myself. On Sunday, I want to film both of Playing With Me's because I typically put them up on Monday and Wednesday. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that forever, but I know for next week I'll probably go back to doing that. I also want to sit down and really consider a schedule for my videos. I've been kind of doing this willy-nilly style, and I know I need to get that down and cemented and find out what's working for me. And then... For good measure, let's just put a leaf sticker. How about that? Because you need something to put there. I think that means the weekend's pretty much good for me. Um, I probably will end up... I'm probably going to end up going grocery shopping on Thursday. I don't know why. Thursday is kind of my day to do that. So. So that's going to go there. That sticker doesn't want to stick. Overall, I really like the spread. I mean, I don't think it did too bad. Gonna be it for work stuff that I know that I have to do right now. Let me go ahead and write my to-do list for the week. I think that's going to be a bit about it, guys. I'm actually excited about how it turned out. Um, it's very functional layout. It's not as much decorative as I thought it was going to be. A lot of these stickers ended up being purely for functional purposes. The only thing I would change is I might go back and cover up this blue with the washi. In previous spreads, it hasn't really bugged me as much because it ma it's matched. But I think I need to go and cover that up. I might make some stickers in that size. I'm not really sure how I want to do that yet, but I will. And I'll let you guys know how that turns out. But for now, this will be it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, I will again have a little box to click to go over to Amanda's video. I'm sure hers will be a whole ton better. But check out hers and let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know what you would have done with the spread to see how it would turn out. I'm still working on doing the horizontal thing. Hopefully I will get better with time. But that's going to be it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Bye.